The sixth anniversary of Marvel Strike Force is right around the corner, and it looks like there's four straight weeks of anniversary events. How do these compare to the previous years? Black Knight is everywhere. His presence is all over the place. What is the best solution to this meta tune? Get ready for Sword Satellite, more vampires coming, and the rest of the news in this edition of your Marvel Strike Force Weekly News Update this week. I am joined by my brother, Mr. Hartgrave, and if you're ready for it, let him know what to do, Hartgrave. Did someone say more vampires? Let's go smash it. Oh yeah, Mr. Hartgrave, there are more vampires coming. Welcome back to the Valley Flying Channel. I am Valley Flying. This is Mr. Hartgrave, and this is your Marvel Strike Force Weekly News Update. We do this every week, keeping you up to date on everything in Marvel Strike Force, everything coming up in Marvel Strike Force as well. And if this is your first time here on the channel, Hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. At least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on the channel. Usually there's more. We have news videos like this, question and answer videos, reveal videos, everything to help your experience in Marvel Strike Force. How have you been, Mr. Hardgrave? And what was your week like in Marvel Strike Force? It's been real boring. February has been a real bland week. Real oh. it, no real gameplay content. It's a lot of Crucible, reading. Black Knight. That's that's the big thing for me this week. Is that uh it's not an, is that engaging enough for you, Mr. Hardcraft? I find it annoying. Let's talk about Black Knight. It's all over the place. This character that counterattacks puts a bunch of trauma and uh, makes it very, very annoying if you're facing this character and he is not exhausted. How has this character affected your gameplay in Arena, Crucible, other game modes? What has what Black Knight's introduction been uh, for you, Mr. Hardcraft? Yeah, he's been a nuisance. Um, he was a bit of a problem in the arena for a day until I figured out a couple of counters that work against him. He messed me up in, in my last round of Cosmic Crucible. He was the reason I took a loss for sure. So he's definitely shaking up the meta. Uh, it's definitely, it's the most entertaining thing going. Are you using Morgan Le Fay? Is Morgan Le Fay back in your arena attack or is it just certain teams? Because I'm finding that I'm having to use different teams for different defenses. It's not one cookie cutter solution in arena. Is that the same experience for you or have I just not discovered the team? I could beat all of those with Apocalypse, Void Knight, and uh, Hard Light, Robbie, and Black Cat. That seems to do it for any no team. Black Knight. No, Black no Black Knight. No Black Knight. No Black Knight on offense. Okay. I find that having Black Knight, if you if you do the Black Knight versus Black Knight, there's a little too much RNG involved anyways, is what I've heard, because I don't have them, so I don't know. Oh, okay. But there's absolutely no RNG involved if you Void Knight, Apocalypse, and those three secret defenders. That's okay. 100% win. It's just really easy. So, Mr. Hardgrave, as you said, I did that battle against this team here. You were on the line. That team did not work, and I think it is still a coin flip at this point. It's all about Miss Marvel. Uh, you saw what happened there, and I got no super scrolls in my team, and you're theorizing that it was a super scroll, makes a lot better. What do you do with this team, though? Because this is the exact same team I have on defense. Uh, Secret Defenders with Black Knight and with uh, Apocalypse, this one right here. This is probably the toughest. This is what I have on defense, and that team did not work very well. Yeah, it's it's just tough. I think you got to have a Black Knight when you're doing that. Uh, the team that I was using, Brawl and Black Knight together. Brawl is actually the thing that's been out of the arena. Um, it is. If, if anyone's trying to use Scroll, you can beat them. But anyone who is not using Scroll and has switched over to one of these defenses, you pretty much have to have Black Knight to do. It's the that. Robbie. Even even this defense at eight right here is easy to beat. It's the Robbie that makes that gives Miss Marvel the speed and it makes it a point flip at that point. So this 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 is a tough defense. You you could I think you could have won that fight if you would have won the coin flip and gone first. Yeah, but, but then Miss Marvel highlight went first and then it was like, oh, yeah. what do we do here? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know what? It was close. You could have won. Not, 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 not in my opinion. I don't think it was maybe, close. <laughs> maybe it was kind of close. Maybe if you had more diamonds on Apocalypse. That's what it is. We need more diamonds. That's what it is. All right. More diamonds to win an arena. And Cosmic Crucible, uh, you said it posed some problems for you this week. Now, it, it did for me as well. Now, some of them were pretty easy to beat. Today, I ran into a big problem. This Black Knight was just huge. I got a six star Black Knight I was facing, was not able to get through it, and we got the loss. We took the L today. Uh, what problems has he posed for you? Is with this, everyone is using the exact same defense in Cosmic Crucible. Is there like someone telling everyone what to set? I, I'm looking at an identical setup, including yeah. the Black Knight room. Like, what yeah. is this? 
I, I follow Juicy. Juicy follows and goes on my stream. And if you're not yeah. familiar with Juicy, he is a content creator that helps a lot of other content creators with their Cosmic Crucible. And I think a lot of other content creators based are what we do on what he says. And, I think so. Uh, I he's think in my alliance, so I just, I just follow what doing. he says for my defense. And uh, I figure right. it out on offense. <laughs> All right, if that's what you guys want to do, I mean, I what are like, what are you using? Do you have do you have some other teams and stuff? I'm I'm way out there, man. You got to go watch my nice. channel for that. Though. All right, I like that. I like yeah, that. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I I I march to the beat of my own drummer. I don't f anyone. I don't care because it's okay. boring. This is boring. I mean, that's what I like about you. That's what I like about you, Mister Hartgrave. You do crazy. some outside the box things. Yeah. Sometimes they seem wrong at the time, but a lot of times down the road, like, oh, that actually, I wish I did uh, what Mr. Harker was saying down the road. Let's let's talk about Black Knight a little bit more, though. He will take some dark promo. I, I guess he does take some dark promo credits, and that is a little different. How do you feel about this character taking dark promo credits? Because we've had other characters take dark promo credits, and they usually reserve these for good characters, but this is the first normal release characters that we had that take dark promo credits. Normally, we've had... Dark Dimension characters, legendary characters. Big Time Spider-Man was released through Raid Rewards. Quicksilver was released through Cosmic Crucible Rewards. Zombie Iron Man, Zombie Juggernaut are little different releases. Those are the characters that took Dark promo credits before, but now we have a normal release character. What do you feel about this precedent being set? Is it is it different for you or is it just another character that's good? And that, that mm -hmm. means he takes Dark promo credits. We don't officially know the release method for Black Knight, though. I assume there's a data mine or something that's implying that it's a no Yeah, we will. We will talk about that data mine. Now, we, we, we do have this image, Mr. Hartgrave. Now, this isn't specifically his event, but it does indicate that his event is going to be March 26th to the 4th because he's on the, the cover for that event. Now, Green Goblin, this was not a Green Goblin event. It's more of a Red Goblin event, but for the rewards, Diamonds for Green Goblin, the Painted Town Red event. That is where we got. So as far as this, was this was this different for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess it's interesting and it really leads us to speculate about what his release method is going to be and regular release method. I mean, here's the thing. They have devalued normal red stars so heavily and they have been giving out more dark promo credits and even more dark promo credits than that if you buy that one strike pass that has like 3,500 dark promo yeah, credits. Yeah, well, the, the, the equivalent of dark promo credits because you get, just get right to the red stars and you, so you don't have to spend those dark promo credits on that. Yeah, so so I don't know. Um, like, I, we're probably going to see more dark credit characters now that normal, you know, gold promos are so bountiful. So I didn't really surprise me, it, it, especially the Krakens and Whales. They have everything at seven stars that they can. And they yeah. they need more characters to spend, spend their dark credits on because they're all sitting on, you know, dragon hordes of them. Yeah, so I, guess that, I, guess, I guess that does make sense from that perspective, from a, the, an economy standpoint. They, they have a lot of their characters yeah, already at seven red. They have nothing to spend it on. They need yeah, those yeah. still having value. So that, that does make sense from that perspective. Here's the point. They've ruined the Red Star economy, is what they've done. They've absolutely oh, well, it's, it's, I wouldn't say ruined it. They've, no. they've moved on past that, and now they're on the diamond economy. It's it's, it's exactly. older economy. Right. Exactly. My, my other question about Black Knight, because he does take target promo credits, one of the big thing, uh, questions on chat this morning, will Black Knight be available in a mega orb? Uh, normally, we don't see certain characters in this. I don't think big time Spider-Man is in this. Quicksilver is not in this. So those other dark promo credits characters aren't here. But again, with the release method, a little different. So what do you think is going to happen with Black Knight? Will he be eventually going to Mega Orbs or never in Mega Orbs? Yeah, unobtainable. I, I assume he was going to be, yeah, unobtainable the same way. I mean, maybe he'll find his way into Raid Rewards. We are looking for a new character there. I think a lot of people have a big Spider-Man maxed out or are getting close. So much. Quicksilver? Um, we could have a new Cosmic Crucible kind of uh, featured character now that Quicksilver's back in the store. I, I don't know what they're going to want to do with Black Knight, but uh, definitely not nothing normal. So I don't. I see, but now we got we got this Mega Orb last week and the the um, quick Rumble Blitzes. I'm saving this because I thought he would, but that is an interesting mm -hmm. point that Chad brought up. No, Dark Promo Creator characters aren't in Mega Orb, so that that is a interesting thing there but I you do know where i'd like to see him i'd like to see him featured in the premium 
I, I, I hope that he's featured in there because we haven't had a new featured character in the premium orb in quite some time. As far as the cost for dark promos uh, for Black Knight, yeah. <laughs> if you get all four of these, that's a little over, like that's I think 3,700. The rest of these, what do you feel as far as the cost? I feel they're in line with the rest of these. I don't think they're like extraordinary like Apocalypse was, a little more expensive than some of the other characters. Dormammu was a little more expensive. What do you feel about the cost of Black Knight as far as the dark promo credits? Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, the, the one I'm curious about, a lot of speculation is going to be about is Super Scroll. I'm hoping that Super mm. Scroll is just like in line with Apocalypse. I think that you think, be Do you think it'll be more? I mean, that, that was that speculation that they increased the dark promo credit cap because that guy's going to be super expensive. Do, are you buying into that or is that something? Yeah, oh, no, they're just they just increased that because. I'm not really buying into the fact that Super Skull will be more expensive, but I will buy into the fact that we will see more dark promo credit uh, uh, credit characters. I think, that, I think that makes sense, especially when you think of uh, the Krakens have everybody already maxed out. They don't have anything to spend it on. That makes sense. But let's move forward with the availability of characters. So one of the things that they, when they introduced Diamonds, was they said that they were going to make the newest characters, availability of Shards will increase four months after their initial release, and all players have the opportunity to get non-dark promo credit characters to seven yellows by the end of six months through their release to normal play. So how do you, what job do you think they've done with this? Uh, I personally think they've done pretty good. Most characters are, you know, we're getting them farmable pretty, pretty quickly, four months. I'm not sure about the exact timing on that, but it seems like it's pretty quick. Uh, and I think this kind of confirms that uh, it's going to be very hard to get shards for Black Knight. What do you what do you feel about this going back to this all these months later? It seems in line with what they said. With the last team we got, Farmable was Pegasus. Who's your Pegasus? Who's our next? Uh, who's our next big team? Is it it should be Extreme X Men and then Superior Sixes coming as well. Oh, okay. it actually yeah, might I be Superior Six it. after Pegasus. Pegasus. Superior Six and then Extreme okay. X Men. Okay. Uh, and and even though they haven't made superior six bull, they have made their shards bountiful in other ways. They're, They're in the orb. Have, They're in the current the uh, orb. orb for the event, and I've gotten a lot of shards for that. They're still not at you know, huge star levels, but and we have the them. ultimate store. They have accurately gone True. into. I'm really surprised at how quickly they go into the ultimate store. Go in there very quickly. Yeah, I, I go in there every day, and then if I'm if I'm there's a character that I need, I'm like, oh, I better open some of my other raid orbs or other things that I'm not really using, so I can get this character. And uh, yeah, I, I think they've done a really good job with it. I, I really like that store, especially when an event puts you just like a few shards away from the next star. You can kind of count on that alt store giving you that next star if you're like super close to it. Well uh, sort of, sort of. I. I I refresh that. I look at that every single refresh. So that's three times a day. I think maybe once a week or something. There's there's something that I could buy there. So I'm not getting that as reliably, but it's it, it is nice that it's there. If you're very close to the next star, I'm talking like it's a lot of people end up like one shard short of an unlock or one shard uh, short of a star, and then having to wait a full four months. Uh, I see what you're saying. Well, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I thought you were talking about waiting for them to pop up in a store. Yeah, in another farmable method. Yeah, that 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 yeah. does that does. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I Just agree on that. One shard if you're if you're a little short from the unlock method, which a lot of people end up at. Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen a lot of screenshots. I'm like, oh, that sucks. Yeah, and, and I'm bender. Like nice, I'm bender as well. I'm like, oh, it's so close. It's a nice pity mechanic that they have in the game now that they never had before. If you were a shard short, you were literally waiting four years or buying an offer until you got that shard. I think one of the big things in that uh, Ultima store is taking him actually out of those orders because that grand prize was was like the worst thing you could oh. get after you have him unlocked. So I'm glad that they took him out of that. All right, let's move on to the event that's going on right now. This is a pretty decent event. It is a leaderboard event, and traditionally these are tougher and more grinding than other events. I think that makes it a little more challenging for myself and a lot of players. You have to not just battle, but win Cosmic Crucible battles, all 18 of them for you to uh, even get in the conversation. What did you do on this? Did it shift how you were playing Cosmic Crucible? Did you have superior six on defense and shift into offense for this, or did you just play this normal, get your wins, and uh, focus on that. How did you how did you tackle this event? Yeah, I didn't have to change anything because I'm always very offense heavy. So my superior six is always on offense. So I didn't have a problem there. 
Uh, what I found interesting about this is how many people are so heavily coring. Probably the Black Knight Orb. Um, yes, yes. Are, my score is close to yours, but we are nowhere near the top 1%. Oh, I opened like three or four. I, I know people that open like tens of thousands of power cores just from their posts on Reddit and stuff like that. So, and I don't even think they're like big Krakens. I think they're just people that save power cores. So, I think I'm, a lot of people <laughs> saw this as the opportunity to cash in. They had a yeah, and Black Knight is a character worth cashing in. Yep, they just went for it. They took, I, I think it was my advice. It was probably everybody's advice. Like if you want to core a character, this is the time there's an event you might get some diamonds on green goblin just like go for it i guess i mean it, not just coring characters i mean because there, there'll be other character or other events like this that have leaderboards i think if it's a leaderboard event this is the one you want to push and save for because these are the ones that have usually the best rewards now the ranking rewards top 1000 most players aren't going to get that but the one to three the four to ten even there's there's some good stuff in that as well so i don't think uh, most players are going to get the top one percent that's what i'm saying me and you pushed very hard our scores are very similar on that yours right, is even, right, let, let's even go down to 25 so a quarter of the players that's still some pretty good stuff in the top 25 yeah. percent. so yeah I, these, I, these I, are I, the I, ones you want to push for if you're pushing for Absolutely. certain events yeah. All right, so let me let me ask you about these orbs for Black Knight. How many did you open for Black Knight? I said I opened about three or four. What did you do? Zero this? orbs. Zero. Nothing. Wait, where are you spending your power cores? On energy, energy or incursion yeah. energy, ISO eight energy? I'm actually hoarding up uh, campaign energy right now. Oh, what is? Uh, okay, okay. I I, 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 I don't know. I, well, let's not save it. Why are you hoarding campaign energy? Is there something coming up, or are you just that's something that you do? Just when I don't need it, I hoard it. And oh. I don't need my campaign energy right now. It's and it doesn't Super really impact. You're losing out on like 200 energy a day from your free free energy resets. So like that's that's like a thousand energy a week that you're losing out on. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna win an event. Like yeah, that's I guess, I'm gonna, I'm I guess it's the long and but your commander level will suffer in that time. anyway. Really. Uh, so I mean, let me ask you this though: what what are you what are you spending your power cords on if not for Black Knight? Because I don't see any characters that are like Black Knight that are worth saving your power cords for. Uh, Star Brand doesn't do it for me. I know Cosmic Ghost Rider is a favorite of yours. He doesn't look like he has enough value to save power cords. So are you just using energy refreshers? Or are you saving your cords for something else? I, I use my cores to win events. Uh, I don't use my cores to get character shards. It's a very low value, even on a good character like Black Knight. Although Black Knight is a character, if I had a lot of power cores, I would debate it. But I only had 2,000 power cores coming in. I only had 2,000 power cores coming into this. But a lot of people had like 20,000 power cores coming into this. And yeah, then you I, can debate doing something like that. I had about three, so I was, I was in almost the same situation you are. I, I was spending for other events, so yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't have a big savings. All right, let, let's go back to the other milestone, the feeder event. A little different. Normally, these feeder events are from the web. I do like that this is not on the web, though. What do you think about this feeder event, this red-handed event? Pretty easy. About 15 raid battles a day will do it, even without hive mind, and even less if you have hive mind. What do you think of this change? Do you like this going forward? Or did you like the web that we had to go for for other milestones in the store anyway? I think the web should be entirely optional. If you want to put in like some extra bonus stuff over there, that's that's fine or whatnot. But I think that, yeah, your event should really just be in game. If they want to attach them to the web store and have them their place, that'd be fine. But I, I, it should be in game. I don't I didn't play this game to you know surf the internet. I I want to I want everything in game to be in game. 100% agree. There those there was some store refreshes and usually on the weekends when I'm not playing as hardcore that I miss. I log in every day though. I would miss zero of those if it's all in game, but sometimes I forget to do that. So yeah, I I hope that this is a trend moving forward. Uh let's move on to this orb because this was a little confusing. This is like purplish now. This was orange when it first was coming <laughs> in to the game. Like, wait, why are they having training orbs? I thought they were getting some uh, good orbs in this event. Uh they did switch the color, thank goodness. Uh what do you think of the orb itself uh though? This I I thought that has some pretty good rewards. You got some shards here like we we're talking about, superior six characters. On the other pillar, you got dark promo credits between 35 and 500 and dark diamond credits between 15 and 400. 
on each pillar. Yeah, these orbs don't make me mad when I open them, which is um, a, a, a nice change for Marvel Strike Force. Were you confused in, at first about the color? Because I was. I was like, why do they have these training orbs? What, what is this crap? And I know people were looking at the store in the bottom saying, training orb for 750 power cores? Why would I do something silly like that? But it, it actually wasn't the training orbs. It was the this orb, the Painted Town Red Orb. Did you get confused by that like I did or were you, you like, ah, that's a different thing? I think it helps that I don't care at all. It might make me colorblind. How gotcha, little I gotcha. Care. I gotta, I gotta do that a little bit more. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I, I like these min maxing type of these events. That's kind of what, it, what I kind of like about this game. Trying to, try to work the system, doing it, doing the least to get the most rewards. That's, that's, that's one of the things I like about this game. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I enjoy that bit as well. I just, I don't <laughs> care what color the orbs are. I mean, yeah, they, they shouldn't make. It got confusing for me. I'm just saying, it got confusing yeah. for me. The, other than that, it, it, as long as something different, it's fine. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna sound an alarm or lose my mind over it. But yeah, I mean, they shouldn't make orbs look like other orbs. Duh. Yeah, other other the confusion, I didn't care. Let's let's move on to this store though, the candy shop. Some good stuff there. I get three hundred thousand currency for most players, unless you spent some of the currency. We did get this. I like this solution. I haven't talked to you about this solution. What what did you think of this solution? I thought this was fair, and I thought it was better than what I thought would be a fair solution. Just giving everybody millions of currency on the last reset. You want to spend your cores, you can. Not, you don't have to. This is better because now you get all that currency. You don't have to spend the power cords. Uh, what did you think of the solution? Yeah, I was just annoyed that it didn't count towards the milestone. And I know that they didn't mean oh. it to, but I was kind of hoping that they would screw that part up. But they did it successfully and they gave out the currency and you didn't complete That's the That's the one point Jeff did his job, unfortunately, yeah. that time. <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah I, I think this was a good good solution here as well all this uh, extra stuff this blanket uh, compensation was great as well uh but in the store i'm purchasing dark uh not dark diamond credits dark promo credits uh i got my forge up to the next star level sunspot up the next star level and i'm working on my superior six and then sometimes there's these uh nice unique tier that i need anyway what what are you purchasing in the store dark diamonds dark promo credits all the way Dark diamond credits. Okay, is there is there a character you're targeting with your dark diamond credits? Scroll and apocalypse. So a character, no, no current characters, just future no. characters saving There's for future. No cap on them. You can save them for as long as you want. They'll never cap out. So that's one of the things I like about diamonds, is that you can hoard up that currency. There's no character right now that I would spend that on. None of them make any sense. I spend mine on Doom, and that is a big mistake. I bought the second diamond, and like this isn't even worth it. I'm not even gonna go up to the third diamond because. He still dies. He still dies very easily. It's not a good investment. So I'm, I'm probably saving all of my dark diamond credits as well. All right. The moment you've been waiting for more vampires coming into Marvel Strike Force. How excited did this make you when you first saw this? I'm pretty excited about this whole thing. I think it's really cool. So we got like a really interesting vampire um, storyline that's going to play out. And we're going to do a lot of voting. So not only do we get to pick which character we want to become a vampire, but we're going to pick what they look like as well. So after people, so after the community decides which character they want, there's going to be another poll with options about how that character is going to look. We're going to get to decide their powers, their abilities, the their kids, yeah. Like, it's really cool. Um, I I think like, it's awesome. And I th and, and, and if that kind of time frame, if you're looking at some of these other characters here, we got these, uh, you know, about five, six months Away. This was about five months ago. We got Void in the game. This was about two months ago. Panda Pool, they're already teasing the next legendary team. This is going to take a while. The timing of this, these vampires, seems like it lines up around Halloween or so. Do you think that is when these guys are coming to the game? Will Blade be included in this team? What team, if not? Will Morbius get a rework? Where, where, where's your head going with this team? I mean, I would suspect there's going to be some reworks involved. Um, I'm hoping that the Dark Hunters will kind of be involved with this. Everyone's going to hope that Blade's involved with it. And we might see a couple of teams. Like, we might see some vampires and then some vampire hunters, right? Mm, okay. I, I don't know. Elsa, Elsa's their counter. Other, I don't really. Blade and, Blade and Elsa on one team and one of these characters and Morbius on another team. And they're like the rivals. I'm hoping we get Dracula. Okay, uh, I forgot about it. Yeah, there is a Marvel character, Dracula. I, I used to use that card in Marvel Snap, yeah. 
Yeah, Dracula is a Marvel character, and he's a great Marvel character. He's absolutely insane. Last, before we move on from vampires, who did you vote for? I voted for Karen because yeah. the actress that plays Karen was yeah. also a vampire in True Blood. Uh, these other <laughs> ones are cool, but you know, more, all, all these are cool, more vampires, but I voted for Karen. You voted for Karen as well. Let me know who you guys voted for down in the comments. I mean, once you vote, you can see the percentages and Karen's just taking it away. So oh much yeah, you're right. You're, you're right. Karen, Karen has taken it away. 54%. I think Karen is the winner there and make sure you guys are voting every single day. Get your cords, get your energy. Let's move on to the next legendary team. We mentioned it a little bit with Panda Pool. The out of time team needed for the next legendary character. So not only do you need Black Knight to uh to, to dominate in the meta, I guess I guess you're not you're not having Black Knight, you're still doing well in the meta, but needed for the next legendary character. And the next legendary character will help uh join Deadpool, Panda Pool on an upcoming team. So the mercs for money. Will they be a war team? Will they be a Cosmic Crucible team? I don't think they're going to fit into raids or arena. So where do you feel this team is going to be used? Hold on. Before you answer that, there is it's a legend. It's a war team that unlocks this character. So does that factor into your... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it does. Yes. Um, what okay. what I think we're in is we, we're getting a Cosmic Crucible team, I believe. Ball. Like, we know that that's coming up really fast. Okay. Um, and I, I, I assume it's Cosmic Crucible. I think data mines have shown that or some stuff like that. Um, I don't think, I don't think I've seen it. I just seen the names. Namor, Rework, Leader, Iron Patriot. I'm not sure. Everyone's uh, just assuming that. Cosmic Crucible does make sense for that team. So war, war team for this. It's being assumed. Um, I know it's not the skill raid team, right? I don't think that. I, that's what I, we want. That's the only that's thing. That's what I we need. <laughs> Um, so yeah, what, what do you got left? You got war or a new game mode? And I don't know. It doesn't really look like the kind of team that would kick off a new game mode. I think that would battle be world. Where... Battle world is a new game mode. Do you think Mercs yeah. will be I important think for Alpha that? Flight. I think Alpha Flight would be the new game mode team. Battle world. Okay. It sounds I, I, right. Like I feel of... that you know, just the timing of everything. I feel battle world is coming way before Alpha Flight. Maybe. Be. But yeah, this. I, I guess I'm. I guess I'm thinking war. It's boring though. Did we don't we do war teams more often than we should? I mean, it's a war team unlocking a war character. It seems yeah. kind of weird, you know. Nova unlocked Black Cat, which is arena character, and then you could use that same team, or not you could use arena. Not going to be arena. Game. It's not yeah. going to be arena. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Let me know your guesses though. I, I'm I'm leaning towards war because I'm thinking Cabal is going to be Cosmic Crucible. But yeah, let me know your guesses, guys. Uh, as we move on. Some of these characters did come back. Black Cat, Nova, Green Goblin, all their legendary events came back. Their trials are back. Uh, now, and let me ask you this. Because these guys are permanent, now we're sort of permanent, they're coming back every two weeks. But that's a trade-off because you need to get more characters up at a higher level. You need to build them up a little bigger. With that in mind, with the increased uh, resources, you need to build these characters bigger, but also having these guaranteed time. You think it's taking less time or more time compared to the old method with this new permanent type of legendaries to get these characters unlocked and to get the next star on these characters. Yeah, this is interesting. I don't quite know how to feel about it. Me as a player, I hate it because for me, I enjoyed playing these and now I don't get to any. I have seven stars on all the Scourge characters, so now I no longer get to interact with it. Last with this, year, with the solution for that, just to bring it, back, just to have them permanent all the time. You know, the Horseman events as well. No rewards if you already have them as seven stars, but you can go back and play them, and they'll come back. I would enjoy that more than playing through the Apocalypse uh, <laughs> Saga, which I can do, but never want to. Like, there's no point in that. The Scourges are fun, and the yeah. difficulty was in there that it would still give me a challenge. Like, I don't know if I ever got to beat difficulty 10 on the, they fixed the Nova Scourge as far as I know, I never got to play it. So you, could, you could start a new account and in a couple of months you could try it again. I'm not doing that. <laughs> now, for new players, for new players, I think this is actually good because you can just go get these legendaries. Like I know a couple of people who have lapsed come back and they can just go grab all the old horseman characters yeah. and then have them. You don't have to wait. For them to come back so it's really good for new players um it's a little unforgiving in that you know the input are the same 
as they as they always were. I mean, there have been some updates, and hopefully they'll update it some more. I think that I think they did make the commitment that they will update it every yeah. few months. They make it relevant, so I, I don't think that's a big worry. But I think it's I, good. It's it's better than the old way. It's better than what we were dealing with, and they changed those too. Like the characters you need to get Doctor Octopus and Nuri, yeah. they've updated that. So they've made some commitment to making the new player experience getting legendaries less horrible and that's good and i think the reason they had to do this is because they wanted to bring these back a lot a little more regular cadence but yeah. the reason they couldn't is every time they brought these back people will get a big influx of these character shards and it just kind of devalues the character and in, yeah. in the sense that everybody just gets these characters instead of making them more rare so i think this yeah. is a net positive i know it does feel bad that it's players okay. have to build their characters to a certain level now instead of just you know, over time grinding it. But I think for the long-term health of the game, I think this is where they needed to go. And I think it is worth the trade-off, having that reliability back. I'll agree that this is kind of what they needed to do. It, it's it's a bummer for us who were kind of exploiting the system for so long, enjoying <laughs> it, that it, it just got shut down like suddenly, like overnight, they were just like, it's over. Yeah, but I think I think that us enjoying the system is why they weren't bringing these back. So now yeah. that now that they had they changed the method, they have these pretty permanent. And like you said, whenever you get these characters, you can start to build them over time. And when you get it, you just go in and get the next star level or something like that. So uh, on the downside, currently you do have to build new Avengers if you want seven stars on Green Goblin. Yeah, that that is a downside. But the good side is. You know exactly when you get your new legend, uh, new Avengers. You know that you're getting it within two weeks of the of them coming back. So, true that. Good, good and bad, but I, I think overall, I think it's better. Let me know your thoughts though, because yeah, we we are both players that had characters at seven red stars when or seven stars when they when they changed this format. All right, race to the top. How are you doing on this? What level are you? How are your how's your progression on this race to the top? I'm in milestone seven. Almost a milestone eight. I don't know if I'm gonna get these uh, this extra mega gold lord fragment, but I did get the Captain Marvel costume. Where are you with this? And are there any surprise upgrades that you didn't think that you would upgrade uh, before this event started? Uh, yeah, there are a few surprising things. I'm approaching milestone ten right now. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, level ninety seven. Ooh, and I'm there. I'm there. But man, you got some big good upgrades. <laughs> Yeah, um, I upgraded a lot of the characters that I would thought I uh, that I thought I would upgrade. Um, a couple that I did not. I just ended up doing Spider Weaver. I ended up changing out. I was doing a lot of Bifrost, but then okay. I just I stopped using them outside of raids. One yeah, character they... that everyone else did was Vol, and I found no use for Vol outside of raids. So that's a character okay. that I haven't taken up. Just a little plug and play value in Cosmic Crucible sometimes, but you know, some some weeks I don't use her, and some weeks I use her once or twice. So it's it's, it's she's not she doesn't have a huge value. Uh, One surprising thing I ended up doing was I I did a lot of new Avengers because I've been using new Avengers on Cosmic Crucible defense. It's a real mm. change. I I did think I thought I was going to use War Dogs, but everybody's destroying War Dogs. New Avengers is actually doing better efficiency wise. Yeah, I'm, I'm building up new Avengers as well because it's still skill category. There's yeah. just not a lot of great skill characters, and there are a few in that new Avengers. So I, that's that's the direction I've went as well. I'm not a huge war fan, but I, I, that's probably the biggest surprise for me. What do you think outside of Doom and Kestrel? Because they count for two classes. Outside of those two, what do you think was your best upgrade? I mean, I think one of the strongest characters in the game is uh, Robbie Reyes. Mm. I think that is one of the better upgrades you can do is uh, to get him to a high level. One character that disappointed me is Icarus. I feel like oh. it was so good in the previous season of Cosmic Crucible, but in this season, it's really hard to use him. Oh, are you? It, it, I've had a few people place Pegasus on defense and Eternal Smash Pegasus on defense. If, so I if, have if, not if, that. I have not been <laughs> to have people put Pegasus on defense, but if they did. I, the thing is, is I, I either have room for Eternals or Warriors. I can't use them both. I, I can very rarely use Warriors and Eternals. In fact, I don't think I have this season at all. All right, Mr. Hargrave, it is time for Data Mines. This one is one we've seen. It's about the Red Letter Day. And if we go back to this chart here, the Red Letter Day does have Black Knight on this event. So I'm assuming this is the Black Knight release event. Could be something else like we talked about this was diamond for a green goblin so it, it 
they didn't relate to him at all more of a red goblin event so with this in mind they mentioned getting this seven day event cold-blooded or fragments from sword satellite which is exciting for me i enjoy that game mode uh we're completing the jam sandwich web milestone and the jam sandwich web milestone is about spending incursion energy also winning blitz battles so i hope you're ready to flex your blitz muscles again mr hardgrave at least if these data mines are accurate three claims and then black knight shards are going to be the reward if these data mines stay true uh how much grinding are you going to do next week i know we've had a leaderboard event with a lot of grinding this week what are you going to do the next week are you going to go hardcore on blitz or are you going to kind of wait on this character I'll do all the blitzing they tell me to do. I hope it's limited again. I think that was a better way to do it. And I hope that most of the shards are coming toward satellite. I hope so as well. Now, now the interesting thing here, there's kind of a trade off, right? When they do those blitz rewards, uh, you could grind mm -hmm. and it's not fun and you get some pretty good stuff or the limiting the blitz and the rewards aren't as good. Which would you prefer? An event that you don't have to blitz as much, but you get some pretty good stuff if you're willing to do it. You kind of gain some ground on some Krakens that aren't willing to do that bad blitzing. Or would you rather have it minimal blitzing and minimal rewards, but you don't have to blitz as much? Can't see them letting us get five stars on Black Knight for blitzing. But I mean, I was able We're to get not, Do you think they're going to get five stars in this event? I got five stars on Kang through blitzing when they did Kang. And that was That was a year ago, though. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't think that I can't rely upon that doesn't right so i think that most of the shards are going to be locked behind sword satellite with a little bit of blitzing once again for like the quick rumble that would be my best guess but i'll do whatever they tell me to do black knight whatever yeah i'm gonna try to max and get as much as i can from grinding out this as well uh sword satellite looks like he's returning because of this event and are you doing anything to prepare right now again this was the one not with the three person teams this is the one with the five person team the original release of diamonds were released through sword satellite obviously the rewards and the floors are going to be changed what are you doing to prepare for it right now if anything i don't know if i can do anything like i like i i you know my i just looked at my roster all of my best characters are, are up to my highest level uh most of my characters are gear tier 18 who i'm using the most meta stuff um i guess the biggest difference is going to be people who have black knight so I'm yeah. hoping that I can unlock Black Knight as I do it to use him on it. Maybe because it is supposed to his, be his event. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I guess the big thing you could do right now to prepare Mr. Hardgrave is prepare your save squads mm -hmm. and them all set so that you could go in very easily. I think that's the only thing you could do to prepare right now. I got to give you a bunch of congratulations because the next day of mine we're looking at does mention your name. Your interview with Matt Sheets from a couple weeks ago. It looks like you're going to give a big shout in the game. Big boost to your channel. And uh, what was the biggest takeaway that you had from Matt Sheets? I know that whole video on it. I did a review on that. But looking back on this now, what was the biggest takeaway that you had from this? Yeah, I like Matt. And I think I Matt's like one of the good I, guys. I think Matt's yeah. one of the good guys there. And what I like when I talk to Matt is his love of Marvel Comics and like his deep knowledge of Marvel Comics. Like his bit about asbestos lady in the video i find <laughs> interesting yeah I, I find matt to be an interesting guy and he would know um, those random obscure characters that nobody else knows and not just swarm know, like that's why loves, we have swarm in the game because <laughs> yeah, he loves asbestos lady it's not like <laughs> it's not a joke it's real his yeah, love is real. real it's real love so that, that's what i like about matt he's not not involved in the monetary aspect of the game really whatsoever and he's just really all about the characters and you know how he can Battles. show in the game and how much lore comics he can bring into it he, he's uh one of the favorite my favorite guys that i've talked to on the team yeah he's one of the good guys now how much stock did you put in his answer about your question about galactus coming to the game <laughs> you have a little he had a little pause little smile is what i saw it, 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 was i reading too much into that or did you pick that up as well i don't know i mean <laughs> I, I hope so especially but I, I i lost a lot of faith in it once i actually went through the cosmic ghost rider story i know a lot of people probably weren't offended by the cosmic ghost rider portion of the story that's in the game uh -huh. I was kind of deeply offended by it they got the character absolutely wrong they included uh -huh. none of his lore so I don't know. I'm 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 less hopeful that they're going to do 
something good with Cosmic Ghost Rider, and that would be the thing I'd want to see. I'd want to see Cosmic Ghost Rider and Galactus, like, do a little team-up thing. But, I just uh, want to have them fight, figure out a way to bring Galaxus in the game. I know he's a bigger character, but Dormammu's a bigger character as well. Make him shrink, and then his animations, you can make him real big. Or some, they could do something weird like that. You know, it is, it's not the normal 616 universe in Marvel Strike Force. It's some odd universe, so maybe they have a small Galactus in this weird universe, and they can bring him to the game. But let's move on to the anniversary events coming up this year. Sixth anniversary is coming up very soon. Celebrate the anniversary of Strike Force along with Deadpool, Kestrel, Deathpool, Spider Weaver, and Val. There's going to be three difficulties, story, hard bonus, 16 missions split into four chapters. Each week of the anniversary, a new chapter will be released, unlocking four missions. All right, so chapter one of these features Deadpool and Kestrel. The hard difficulty is we're going to require five hero characters. The bonus difficulty will require Nick Fury, Kestrel, Three other hero acquires. Moving on to chapter two in the second week is going to feature Deadpool, Kestrel, and Deathpool, mainly for the bonus difficulty. Nick Fury, Kestrel, Deathpool, two city requires, uh, city characters are going to be required. And for the hard difficulty, five cities characters are required. Chapter three, the third week, is going to feature Deathpool, Kestrel, Deadpool, and Spider Weaver. The hard difficulties require five global characters, and the bonus difficulty is we're gonna need Kestrel, Deathpool, Weaver, and two other global characters. And the final week, chapter four, is gonna celebrate with Deadpool, Kestrel, Deathpool, Weaver, Val. Your hard difficulty is we're gonna require five cosmic characters. Bonus difficulty is we're gonna require Kestrel, Deadpool, uh, excuse me, Deathpool, Spider Weaver, Val. Are required for that and then it ends and a, a big shout out to rocket for the data mines from msf.tools what do you think of these anniversary events compared to some other things that they've done in the past yeah i assume this is going to be a way for people who missed out on these characters to unlock them uh that that's what i'm going to assume from this as far as what kind of rewards are on here i mean we'll uh, it'll be interesting to see if they're on par with showcase events uh, mm. With the harder difficulties, with like tons of Isotope 5 and Tier 18. That's kind of what I think we would expect. Just looking at this, I would think, oh, we're going to get all these Gear. Tier 5s. When we don't, we're going to be upset. Old trading oh, maps, you think they'll no. feature something like that in these? I, I don't know. I know last year they did right, not do let's, enough. Let's go to last year. This this was this was uh, one of the things that we got last year. Obviously, we got a bunch of other stuff in not just this in-game message, but this was the big anniversary gift that we got last year. Better than anything we had in the past, and I expect this six-year anniversary to be even better than this. Going back to the fourth year, this is what we got for year four. A lot of stuff here. Year three, we got some gold promos, uh, mega orb fragments. This was very, very weak. Second year anniversary, we got this. This was even weaker. And then we got a calendar on the first year. Moving this down, we got a calendar that features Jessica Jones of Gold Orb Fragments. So they've gotten progressively better. How much better than this stuff do you think the sixth anniversary will be, though? I think it's more than this, though. Like, well, this it, this was they, like the anniversary gift that we got. They've yeah. had bonus events, other things surrounding that. They've had other free stuff. I think they had a milestone event that we could earn Kestrel's costume either last yeah. year or the year previous to that. So there's going to be other things around. But uh, what do you think of the overall rewards compared to last year? Because obviously they should be better. They've been increasing every year. How much better is my question, though? Yeah, we're going to need to have some diamonds on there this year. I oh, mean, anything that isn't diamond. Good point. Good point. You know, I don't know if it matters. And, uh, and yeah, I hope 666 dark promo credits or more than that. Uh, I would hope so. I mean, I, <laughs> think, I think with Fisto being like kind of a featured character, I think we're going to see a lot of 666 kind of things happening. They can have some Interesting. fun. With. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's a six year anniversary. Did a lot of five, five lives last year. That, that yeah. doubly makes sense, Mr. Hardgrave. I like that. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's the year <laughs> of evil. I'm going to flourish. It's all good. Yeah. Evil <laughs> and Halloween and vampires. Thing. Mr. Harkin, this is your year. This is it. So the week mainly dominated by the introduction of Black Knight, but there are a lot of things upcoming, including the six anniversary events. Let me know your thoughts on these. Mr. Hardgrave, any other final thoughts? Black Knight sucks. I'm bored. Bring on the sword satellite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hopefully we get some introduction of that next week in tomorrow's blog, tomorrow in the blog for next week. And yeah, it should be coming up and an event for Black Knight should be starting sometime next week as well. 
Hopefully you got some value out of this video. And if you did, leave it a like. It is free for you and it tremendously helps out the channel. Check out the links to Mr. Hargrave's channels down below. And if you want to see what are the best purchases in each store, check out the video up there and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Are you ready for a fist bump, Mr. Hargrave? Always. Here it goes. Hog fist bump, Valley Five, Mr. Hargrave. Out. Have a great one, guys.